Today, friends, we're going to take an STL file and we're going to upgrade it in an instant using Mesh Mixer. So let's get cracking. So a super quick review. I visited Maker Lab the other day, slid down to the experiments and used the image to 3D model. I took this simple image and brought it in and it made this fantastic 3D model in just a few minutes. Now notice the ice cubes are on the outside. I can see how the AI could not compute that correctly. In that tutorial, I also showed you how to right click and simplify the model so that it uses fewer triangles. This is an awesome skill for trying to bring it into Tinkercad or just make things less complex. Of course, when I was finished, I did file and I did export as an STL. Now, if you're gonna use Mesh Mixer, you do need to find it. Skip the sponsored links and go right to Autodesk because that's who created it. This guarantees you're at the site where it's supposed to be. It is no longer supported, so you should track this down soon so you don't lose it. Of course, it's available right now in Win64, and let's hit download. Now, you will have to sign in to your Autodesk account. It is free, so just create one if you don't have one. And finally, download the product. Of course, you do have to accept all the agreements. And then finally, you can download this. I'm going to just save it in my downloads folder. And as you can see, it only takes a minute. Then simply double click to install. Once installed, it'll be under Autodesk. I'm going to just choose the desktop shortcut though. Double click to launch. I'm going to maximize it to full screen. And we want to import that part. Now I have a folder called Lions. You can see I already saved this once. I'm going to grab Kool-Aid Man 2. These are my ones that I already edited and you just need to wait a moment for it to show up. Now when it does, bingo, there is our little 3D model with the ice cubes. It loads this little printer window. I don't care about that, so I'm gonna make none visible and click done. So now our model is the only thing we see. I'm also gonna hide this or minimize it so we can see our view cube. Notice you can click to check it out from every angle. These are those ice cubes we need to get rid of. I'm gonna show you real quickly how to do view and wireframe so you can see how many triangles there are in this shape. We're gonna start by doing Control A to select everything. And then under edit, we are gonna reduce those again. Once you click, let it do its little bit of math. It cut them by half. As you can see, the design still looks good. So I'm going to try 65% and press enter. It redoes the math. You'll notice the triangle spread out a little more. I'm going to try 80% and press enter. So I'm just trying to reduce the complexity so that it's easier to work with, but it still looks like the right shape. I'm happy enough with this, so I'm going to hit accept. Now, if you ever make stuff too complex, it will crash. So it is a good idea to save your projects quite often. I'm gonna do file, save as, and I'm gonna save this one as Kool-Aid Man 4, because I already did Kool-Aid Man 3 the other day. Right now, I'm gonna clear that selection, and let me show you how to get rid of these ice cubes. I'm gonna hit S for select, and I'm gonna make my brush a little bit smaller, got the unwrap brush, and I'm just gonna grab all these parts, click and drag like it's a paintbrush. I wanna make sure I've got a little bit of this back wall and I've got every angle of the ice cubes. Notice I'm looking underneath, grabbing all of those so that we can get an even erase and fill. That is the trick that we're gonna use. Notice if you get too much, like I don't need all of this, I am going to do shift select and that erases it. You can fine tune a ton, but you really do not have to be perfect. I do want to highlight that there have been days where when I open Mesh Mixer, I have this green shadow while I'm selecting. I do not know what causes that. If anybody has a tip, I would love to hear it. My strategy was simply to reboot the PC, and the next time I entered, it was not there. I do want you to know we only selected the front faces of this project. That is because we don't have the allow back faces on. And now that I've got that all selected, we're going to simply hit F, which is fill and erase. Boom. Just like that, the offending ice cubes are gone. How cool is that? 
Okay, I'm going to send this little guy to Tinkercad to do that. We're going to simply do File, and we're going to choose Export. And I'm going to put it in my Lions folder, and I'm going to call this Kool-Aid Man 6B. I am going to save it as a binary STL and simply hit Save. Next up, we can go to Tinkercad, simply hit Create Brand New 3D Design. I'm going to call this Kool-Aid Man, and I'm going to make it V4 just because I've been having fun playing with it. And of course, we're going to choose Import, choose File, and find that 6B that we just created. I'm going to keep all the measurements. Notice it's only 2 megabytes, which is super tiny. We could bring in a project as large as 25 meg. Note it does take a moment for the project to load. But after a moment, bam, there it is. Kool-Aid Man, Ice Cube removed, and the hand ready to add a picture. Now, part of the fun of Tinkercad is adding all kinds of things to this. Of course, we're going to get the picture eventually. Right now, I'm going to click on it, and I'm going to make it a custom blue. As a Lions fan, I'm always drinking the Kool-Aid, so we're going to go with something just like that. And, of course, you can look through all the different items and add cool things to make yours a little more cool, like I have right here with my fun little mustache, eyeballs, and an infinity gauntlet. Friends, make sure you stay tuned because on Friday we're going to use some slick tricks to make sure that the AI generates what we want. And then, of course, we'll add that picture to our Tinkercad project. Friends, I do want to say thank you so much to my supporters on Patreon. Don't forget you can learn more with the bit.ly up above or the link in the description. Finally, friends, I want to thank you for watching. Don't forget every time you hit that like button, share a video, add a comment down below, or hit subscribe. You're helping HL Mod Tech get just a little bit bigger, which absolutely makes my day. Friends, have a glorious day and keep tinkering.